first thing you'll want to do is go to the fitday.com website www.fitday.com if you're a current user you can simply enter your username and current password if you're not a user you'll need an email address to sign up and simply register as a new user it'll take you to this screen where you will create your free fit day account you'll create a username I'm just going to enter Don Colonna now and a password an email address make sure you record this information someplace else so that you can uh, recall it or share it it'll ask you some details some personal information to help you establish your uh, profile just simply enter the information it comes to activity level this is how it calculates your resting metabolic rate based on your activity level. I've already read the terms because I'm already a member, so I'm simply going to sign up. The next step will be to begin recording your information. You'll come to a screen like this, and you'll see at the top that it has a line for the current date which is where what you'll be entering information for but you can also view the previous day or the next day for this purpose we're going to enter for the day that it uh, lists at the top and this morning I'll show you an example I had um, eggs I simply type in the word eggs and it takes me to uh, some options. It's not one of the few at the top, so I search down. I only had egg whites, so what I'm looking for is an option that says egg whites. When I find what I'm looking for, which happens to be on the next page, I'm going to click on the actual underlined words. That's going to take me so that I can look at the nutritional data, change the serving size if I need to. This new screen shows up. It says egg white only, raw, one, and it gives the nutritional information below. I actually had six. So I'm going to change the amount and recalculate. and it'll give me the new nutritional data based on the six egg whites I had in my omelet this morning and I click add to my food log it adds it to my current food log and shows on the pie chart below a very handy pie chart where my calories are coming from right now I've only entered one thing and uh, primarily that color indicates that it's very high in protein this is an important tool, that pie chart, because it will help you calculate your targeted macronutrient ratios. The next thing I ate this morning was some oatmeal. So I'm going to type in oatmeal, and I'm going to scroll down looking for just regular slow-cooked oatmeal. There are several options, and I'm going to find one that fits my needs and click on it again to see the serving size information. If you'll notice here it says that it's one cup and I actually had a quarter cup so I can change this by putting in the percentage or the decimal 0.25 and recalculate it now has my actual information so I'm going to go ahead and add that to my food log so now if we look at how it's changed my pie chart, 
we're getting a little bit more balanced look here, still high on protein. One of the nice things about this program is once you enter certain foods, and if you're like me, you may have something, the same thing every day, you can go to your recent foods and click on that. And it'll give you the things that you recently ate over the past several days. And tomorrow, let's say you go into enter and you want to say, hey, I want some recent foods, you can click those little boxes and check all that apply and just say add to food log and it will immediately add them very easily so that you don't have to go through the whole search process again. And I'm going to click on that to go back to my food log. They also make an um, application. iPhone makes an application for Fit Day. I love it. I highly recommend it if you have an iPhone. It's easy to download and very handy when you're on the go. The next thing you can do is create custom foods. Now these are foods that you have in your pantry and you want to get a more accurate reading of. I eat a meal replacement bar, a MedRx meal replacement bar, so I'm going to type that in. I usually have one of these either for a snack or a meal uh, once a day when I'm on the go. So I'm going to name it what I can remember it and one serving is going to be one whole bar. I'm going to enter the total calories for the bar and by hitting my tab button I can tab to where I need to put in the total fat or simply click on it with your arrow cursor. I'm going to put in the uh, grams of fat in a bar. Just reading it off the back of the nutrient information. I'm going to enter the carbohydrates in grams and then I'm going to enter the protein. And when I'm finished, I'm going to say create this food. And it will remain in my custom foods. So that anytime I have this, I can simply click on my custom food and select it. Takes a second for it to come up here. I'm going to add it to my food log because I did have one of those today. And now you can see that my pie chart is looking very good with my carbs to my proteins to my fat. I'm doing a good job today of keeping everything balanced. And under my custom foods, you'll see that that bar is there. It's easy to click on any time that I want to recall it. I strongly encourage you to go ahead and add any of the custom foods that you eat regularly. This will help the process go quite smoothly. Anytime you want to delete a food item, all you have to do is hit on this orange X to the right. It will take it right off of there. You can also adjust your amounts once you get them in there and save your changes. It will update everything. And when you're all done, you can sign out. And always return to it uh, when you're ready to enter new information.